Let's talk about asthma. So, what is asthma? At its root, it's when someone's airway intermittently narrows. While environmental factors can trigger asthma attacks, it may come down to an immune system that's improperly activated. This T helper cell, also known as a TH cell, usually helps our immune system fight off pathogens. An inflammatory disease like asthma is caused when these otherwise helpful cells get overstimulated. In the past, we thought asthma inflammation was caused by high levels of a TH cell called TH2 cells. But we've recently discovered a much more complex story in our labs. TH2 cells are characterized by the production of the cytokine IL-13. And evolutionarily, IL-13 is important for fighting off parasites. Just like we expected, our research found many people with high levels of TH2 cells and the cytokine IL-13. But we also discovered an entirely new subset of people with asthma that had low levels of IL-13 and TH2. Some people in this other group had high levels of an entirely different type of T-helper cell, the TH17 cell, characterized by the presence of a cytokine called IL-17. Evolutionarily, IL-17 is important in fighting infections caused by fungus and bacteria. When we went back and looked at the original TH2 high group, we found that people with TH2 high asthma seem to block the production of genes associated with the TH17 cells. How could this be? Well, the most commonly prescribed medicines for asthma are inhalers filled with a type of steroid called glucocorticoids. While glucocorticoids help control symptoms for most asthma patients, for years, we've known that some people who use steroids for a long time redevelop asthma symptoms, but no one really knew why. We found that formerly TH2 high patients that redeveloped symptoms now had high levels of genes related to TH17. By treating one driver of asthma, we actually may have been promoting another driver of asthma. When we reduce the IL-13, sometimes the IL-17 rises up in response. What we need is a way to block IL-13 and IL-17 at the same time. This new research challenges the commonly held belief that all asthma is the same. It shows that asthma comes in different forms and supports the idea that biomarkers for IL-13 and IL-17, which are like molecular fingerprints for specific types of disease states, can be used to develop medicines from every angle for every person. And by following the science, we may be able to achieve that goal.